Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we're playing Brigandine Grand Edition as Scalio. This is episode 22. We have Carleon pretty much trapped at this point. What do I got here? Last place I want to check. Just want to see. Level 4 Golem. It's better than level 2 Golem. A little closer to dingy and becoming a stone golem, which is actually a little more mobile, I found out, so that's a plus. But I have a team out here. I have nothing to be afraid of. It's the Daffy Squadron. So we're gonna just keep pressing here. We're gonna save our game. Because we're we're expecting that this is like This is the battle that seals it to just make sure we don't have to worry about getting caught we're not gonna get caught out anymore we're gonna execute we're gonna attack them to there I'm going to attack them to there It's possible they may attack here, or even here, or anywhere else, at will, right? But I'm pressing every castle they have. It's true, as Gargis may come here and take this. That even gives them access to that. I don't care. I can always seal this Gargis off in two turns. I just need to kill Carleon first, and this becomes a lot easier. So that's why we're doing it this way. I, I understand this may seem strange to some of you. I, I, I get it. I think I want to take out Kale. No. No, I'm going to attack their capital. Just they don't really have that much here and well they I mean, they do but I'm pretty sure they're gonna defend their capital because that's where they get their mana yield from and uh, they need every bit of it they can get because they're gonna start having monsters that aren't strong enough to fight in combat is there anyone else where I need to attack nope Lydney's just gonna sit still Orkney's just gonna sit still go for it guys Carnivore Castle. Ulster, Bagda, Magnus, and Gallo. Versus not much. Ulster, the other knights won't help me, but I'll do the best I can. Sierra, as long as I'm alive, no one is touching Mr. Kai. What the hell are you using your life story, lady? She's often on Kai's side where she competes with Marriott for his attention. Her sharp wit usually brings her out on top, but she's really a sweet person deep down. So basically, it's it's Kai's consort, I guess, because, I mean, he's not married, is he? Alright, well. If only the AI would be so bold. I mean, the one thing always lacking in this game was the AI. Level 7 Angel. That's a threat. See, already my, my mellow is harshed by a golem. I dislike it. Eh. We are low enough level that this makes sense. Just go with a wide front and envelop them. I mean, unfortunately the Pixies have no offense, but that's okay.
They're a bit further north, so if I want to do this right. Here is level 16. She's got Geno Frost. She could be dangerous. No, not very. Welcome to formation. This is an object lesson in taking form for a battle, to be honest. They're just not strong. I mean... If I had gone one square more, I would be out of formation still, but I would be within realistic attacking range that I'm going to send my knight in first. So we're going to do that. We're going to see if this trips aggro. For those of you who don't play World of Warcraft or games, um, aggro means aggression. It would be like aggression from the computer. So basically, congratulations, you've tripped the game's algorithms for we're in danger. And there we go, we have aggro. So I've actually given them a decent chance to get some sort of form together because I guess I'm a nice guy. But that does bring them closer into conflict with me, so I can sort of decide what pace I want to go at. I'm just going to examine north to south, what I've got going on. And I'm going to choose to just go in there. Now, if, if I had any pixies available, this is the time when I'd use them. But I don't. Now, I do want to analyze quickly here what's likely to be a front line. And these guys are likely to come down and in and sort of catch me here. So I want to be in a position to repel them, especially with this dragon. I want to pin this angel down and try to get rid of it. But I can do that pretty easily. So I'm going to start by... I'm actually going to swap these two. Because the golem... I want to see something. I want to test this thing's accuracy against... That's 45. But, if you check this... It doesn't seem to work in battle, but I could swear it says something along the lines of... Try this with Hallow! I was showing this game to a friend and it was like, yeah, yeah, try it with Hallow! So we're going to move this thing here. We're going to smash the crap out of this angel. We gave it a dark emblem, by the way. Part of the reason this was foolish was that the AI put a holy creature. Well, I missed, so I guess maybe it wasn't so foolish. Directly adjacent to something with a dark bite. Uh, I want to stay in the blue. I'll stay here. I'll advance forward with that and get there and move forward with this and get here. I mean, this is this is Geno Frost Realm, but I'll accept that risk. And he's sending in his front line, which is not weak. I don't want to say it's weak. Making him spend heals is a good thing. It 
It's not ideal to have a wolf frontlining. I would have loved to pixie them up before, but you see how the AI just sent a rune knight out to die? I mean, I know he's kind of taking a flanking position, but he's gonna die. That angel's doomed. Okay. I know this pixie's pretty far from anything too consequential. I can't, for example, boost him, but I don't need to. I have that one here. Uh... I mean, it doesn't matter. I can protect this one. Because if I lose the big one, I just get another big one soon, so... And then I replace it. I'm not that concerned about my golems, to be honest. Sorry, golems. I'm just not. I just want to check movement range. I know I'm out of mana range. I have to have my knight move up first. He can move up almost into combat range, but that means I don't need to protect spell him. So I want to protect spell... I'm going to protect spell my dragon. It's level 9. I think it's a little more valuable to me than the Weaburn. The Weaburn is level 8, but it's a little... It's one level lower than an evolutionary point, and transforming into a silver dragon matters a lot more. Terra Draw, Bite. It's level 2, it takes 145, I'm level 9, and protected, and I take 70. That's how you chip the enemy down. And now it's surrounded, so it's doomed. So you see how leading with a wide flank, they've tried to envelop me in the north, I've enveloped them completely in the south. I have a wider flank. I even have a creature that's, well, it's not trapped. I'm gonna harden Bag to Magish just in case somehow he gets damage dealt to him that's too much for me to take I can't get around him but I can shift okay so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send this dragon up here to bite this guy. 134. See, this is why they should... Oh, that was not something I had considered. He kicks back. Alas, poor dragon, we knew you well. Yeah, I had a feeling I'd miss, but now I'm threatening. Uh, rush action is only 70%. It almost certainly wouldn't kill him even if it hits, but I want to hit. 206. So I've put their rune knight in critical. This thing most needs the heal. Too bad I don't have Divine Ray on him right now. So she's going to Geno Frost because that's just the smart thing to do. It's a move I entirely respect. And uh, so that hurts significantly, but we knew that was coming. That's the risk of an envelopment. And again, that dragon is in, in some trouble. That wolf is dead. I 
I'm willing to take losses on this battle. I'm happy to take losses on this battle, actually. Because that gives me control of my interior back, and I need that. And I'd have to part with some of these monsters anyway as they evolve. So this is that battle where you want to push it because you know you can win next turn, basically. I really wish I had Healing Word at a better positioning. I could run forward and get ready for it the next turn. Yeah, let's do that. In case somehow this goes on for another turn. Let's be ready for that area heals. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're not so good, you're not so great. I can't reach you because you're doomed. Sucks about that wolf. Yep, heal the stone golem, level 11. Ooh. Don't want to do that. Take a shot at killing this bastard. It's an all or nothing, I mean, what's my chance to hit? 64% chance I end this fight right now. Let's do it. Oh, it hits! Oh, 177, he is dead! Mace is level 12, his army vanished, he lost the golem. Alright, continue eviscerating dragon, please. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Is he gonna retreat? Flat out retreats. That means Carlotta is all ours to torment as we'd like. I like the look of this angel. She's level 17. Baggy gets to go, so... I don't have to kill Sierra this turn, actually. In fact, I shouldn't kill Sierra this turn. Um... Can I get a kill on this angel? 89%. I can't get a I can get 100% on that. It's got 172. Let's smack it around a little bit. Never mind, it died. <laughs> Whoops. Guess we uh a little too hard there, huh? Yeah. yeah, it's the cat. I have a friend over. Uh, all right, 100% to hit the scorpion. Smack the scorpion. Hey, 57 experience, man. Pixie, just cast some magic so you get bonus XP's. Pixie's level 9, baby. Pixie's level 9, baby. Two level 9 Pixies. Turn 5. Can't get down there. No. Kill the scorpion, but this dragon is pretty critical. Yeah, just walk. Nah, I bet he had just breath attack. Nothing's going to kill you in one hit. So might as well get experience for it. Maybe kill the scorpion. Good job. 644. Now 
And is it that I just can't get by these creatures? Is that my problem? She's got to attack Carlotta because there's no one else who can attack. You missed. Centaur away! Nothing's better than sloppy seconds. Wait a minute, I think everything's better than sloppy seconds. Oh, shit, everyone who needed a heal ran away. Where are you guys going? Pardon the weakened dragon. Just in case that giant decides to try to give it one last parting blow. Nope, she just ran. She knew better. Carly and Zomiri's in retreat. I lost a wolf. It was a high level wolf. That sucked. Oh, but we got a level 10 uh, Weaburn, and we captured a crappy little golem. So that's it for this episode. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really does help the channel grow. It lets me know what you're watching so I can make more of it. And I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And as always on this channel, La Paz. Oh, and don't forget, brigandine.engine.com. Yes, that. La Paz. Yes, the friend who pioneered it says hello.